how to add collapsible product description sections in Shopify step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create a collapsible description like this for your Shopify store. Now, this can be super helpful when you have a lot of information in the description and you're trying to ensure that it looks compact and it looks really nicely put and just can be a really differentiating factor for your Shopify store. So let's jump right in. Now, to do this, we're going to break it down really simply. We're going to be editing a little bit of code, but it's really simple to do. We're just going to be doing copy paste so you guys can follow along as well. Now, to get started, the first step that you're going to do is log on to your Shopify store. Once you have logged on, you're going to click on online store on the left. Once you click on online store on the left, you will see your current theme that is applied. Now, if you want to be safer and if you really want to ensure that even if you do mess up, you still have the original version of your store, then you can click on these three dots and then you can click on duplicate over here. This will add a duplicate of your current theme onto the theme library. So in case you don't like the new version of your store, you don't like the way that the description looks, you can always revert back to the original version of your Shopify store. Once you've done that, you can click on these three dots again, and then you're going to click on edit code. Once you click on edit code, this is what your preview is going to look like. On the top left, you have the option for filter files. You're just going to search for main dash product. So you will see this section called main dash product dot liquid. This is what you're looking for. You can find this under the sections folder. So if I close all of the folders over here, you open up sections and if you scroll down into main, you will find main dash product somewhere around here. You guys can see this is main dash product here, but it's really simple to just search for it on the filter files on the top left instead. Now, once you have opened up this code, this looks you know really difficult and it's a lot of code, but all you have to do from here is if you're on Windows, you're going to press Control F. But if you are on a Mac device, you're going to search by Command F. So press Command F and you will have the option for find on the bottom. Now, once this box opens up, you're simply going to search for description like this and ensure that you are typing the spellings correctly. Now, once you type in description, this will highlight everywhere where it says description. If you just click on return, this will just highlight the description. Now, when you highlight description, you can just close this and you can just see that this is where the description code is present. Now, where it says the first description, you will see the line below that and the line after that. You will have this section, which is a bracket div and then it's some code and then two lines below that the div ends so from here you actually want to replace this div code but make sure that this is this code i'm going to zoom in a little so you guys can better see what code i'm talking about so again you're going to do command f you're going to search for description description is going to be highlighted right under the first highlighted description you will see these lines where it says div and you want to select the div lines. Now, to make this easier, I like to go on the line above the div code and I like to go to the end of the div code and create some blank space. This blank space is going to allow you to just make it easier visually to add the new code. Then you're just going to delete this code, okay? And then you're going to go into this paste bin link. I will leave a link to this code in the description box down below so you can copy it from there. You're just going to open this up and copy it. This is really important as well. A lot of people when they're copying, they usually just mess up a little and they don't copy like the first or either the last brackets. This is going to render the code useless. So make sure to copy the entire thing perfectly. So just copy it like so. Then you're going to go back and paste that in. Once you've pasted this in, 
you're going to click on save on the top right and I'm going to zoom back out. So this is what it's going to look like now. And once you have done that, you can click on preview store on the top right and then you can open up your products. And once you open up your product, I need to ensure that there is actually a description for these. So I'll go into, I don't know for which one there is a description. I hope I wrote a description for this one. Yeah, so you guys can now see the description is in a drop down box in a collapsible drop down box instead of just being a standard description that is written. People can choose to close it if they don't, you know, if they don't find it interesting enough, they don't have to read it. But if someone does want to read the product description, they can open up the description and read it. And that is how you add collapsible product descriptions in your Shopify store. Now, this isn't the only customization that you can make in your Shopify store. There is so much more that you can do that can help in creating a more interesting appeal to your store. This includes things like metadata, things like product fields, meta fields, as well as different types of categorizations for your product. So other than building a collapsible description, if you want to build collapsible menus like this, where you have product or product categories listed out like I have over here, you can go back into your Shopify store dashboard. Once you're in your dashboard, you want to click on online store on the left. Once you click on online store, you can click on navigation on the left. Once you click on navigation, click on main menu. Now I've created these drop down menus and you can even create sub drop down menus. So to do this, all you have to do is you can click on add menu item. And let's say I want to just add a major menu item called products. And this is going to go to products and then close to all products. I'll click on add over here. Once you add your new menu item, you can move it by holding the dots on the left. And then you're going to take the items that you want to create as sub items and then move them towards the right. Once you move it towards the right, you can place the second sub menu item like this. So now we have collapsible product menu items as well. And then click on save on the top right. Once you click on save on the top right, you can preview your online store to see what it looks like. It might take a couple of seconds for it to take effect. Your code changes do take effect really instantaneously, but changes like this can take a little bit more time. It just takes a few seconds to refresh or if you just clear the cache on your own browser, then it is going to refresh and show you the new version of your Shopify store. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to create collapsible descriptions and collapsible navigations in your Shopify store. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.